Hi! In this video, I will guide you through the example 7 that you can find in the DozUI package. This is Progressors Advanced. Let's go! So, I just opened the scene and you can do that as well. From Doozy, Examples, Scenes, and you go to E7, Progressors Advanced, and we recommend that you view this uh, scene in landscape mode and in 3D mode. So your, your scene should not be in 2D, it should be in 3D. And game, we recommend using landscape. Here we use a combinations of progressors and we show you how you can use different uh, flavors so that you can create very interesting interactions. Let's enter it and see what we've got. So we have a simple animation and here we have a field of view that changes the camera's field of view. Check it out. So this is the slider for this. We also have the option to change the volume and check it out, it is animated. We're also showing a uh, progress here. And this is for the UI effects volume. Here we are updating a um, audio mixer. And let's see where is our audio mixer. We can uh, see it. Music volume. Where is it? Music. There you go. Check it out. So we are controlling this. And this is UI volume. It's for this one. This is all done with this UI. And here we are animating world visibility and check it out. This is an animation that uh, yeah, I'm controlling with this simple slider. There you go. Yeah. And here we have a hood layout and is these two. And this has layout zero. Let's go to layout one. Check out how they're animated. Yeah. Layout two. Three and four should be out of view. Yeah. In case you're trying to show different HUD setups, you can do it like that. And this is done very easily with an animation and progressors. Yeah. And this last progress bar is the sum of all of these. So if this is at zero, let's say zero. Zero, 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 and zero. So this is the big one, yeah? And if they're all at 100%, uh, actually you cannot see it. <laughs> Let's keep it this, this here and check it out. Now this goes almost 100%, yeah. So yeah, we're showing sliders and progressors here. This field of view is insane. All right. Now let's see how it's done. <laughs> All right. So we have a camera rig and an animation. And this is actually the animation that moves you around the scene. So check it out. Whee! And this just plays round and round and round. We do not touch it because, yeah, why should we? But we are messing around with this field of view. And let's see where are the, our sliders. Sliders. And here we have the red one, field of view. We try to, to make the setup easy to, to open and to understand. So here we have the red slider. And this is a UI button. When you enter its uh, area, it just goes a bit bigger. It's an animation. Check it out. I, how can I show you this better? Let's go here. Actually, let's go into 2D mode so you can see it better. So this is the animation for the button. Yeah. It's a prefab, so you can have as many as you want. It's a nice way to, to create this type of interaction. And we use it with a progress animator and a progressor. So on pointer enter, 
we have our progressor here, I believe. Yeah. And the progressor is set to number one. So set to one. It doesn't work. You cannot update progress target animators in uh, edit mode, only in play mode. That's how Unity works. And uh, what exactly does this slider? Let me see the slider inside of it. And this is the slider that on value changed affects the main camera and also the progressors for this one and the progressors for this one and for this one. So you can see how they get updated. I think I can update it from here. Yeah, so it actually works. And also the game should be, no, it doesn't affect the game. All right, yeah. So you can see this is how it works. And it's basically the same thing for all the others. Let's check out the slider for music. And here we have a um, progressor that goes from minus 80 to zero because that's the volume in decibels. And again, I don't think we can do it from here. Can we do it? No, we cannot update from here, only in play mode. And this can be also updated. Can we update from here? No, it doesn't work. Yeah, all right. And this is again, same thing with the UI volume. The slider changes the progressor and the progressor changes uh, this particular. Oh, we also created a special, where is it? A, a special progress target for audio mixer. You might even create a component progress target audio mixer. Uh, it's very easy to create progress targets, by the way. So if you need uh, to use a progressor and use progress targets with it, you can create your own. It's just a few lines of code. I think I can show you this. Let's edit the script and let's open Rider. So this is the entire script that updates the audio mixer. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's very easy to extend the progress target uh, code. And we will show tutorials how to do that, but this is on the coding part. All right. What else do we have here? World visibility. Well, the world visibility, let's see the world container. Let's go into the mode. And here we have animations and these animations are controlled here every part of the world it's actually let's see only this copied a hundred times whatever and here we have an animation that works like this there you go and we copied this everywhere and that's why you saw the entire world disappear it's really nothing uh, no black magic here <laughs> all right and yeah this slider i believe changes a progressor yeah and this progressor changes these things. So let's check it out. Yeah, there you go. All right. And what do we have here? Well, we have the yellow slider that controls the HUD. And what you just saw, remember when I changed this from here, there, outside the view? Let's see it. HUD layout controller. Am I looking at the right thing? Yeah, and I have the first layout and the second layout yeah there you go and the way they are set up is so that this works mm -hmm. and i have a layout parameter that i'm changing from zero to four i believe we can even check the animator to see we have a blend tree and here yeah this is a bit more advanced and here from zero to one it chooses one of these animations and blends between them. So that is why you see, let's enter play mode. You see these blend from one to another. Let's check out the animator. And let's get the music down. So check out this thing. And notice how it blends. Yeah. We use the blend to, to, blend, to blend these animations. And they look organic and very good, actually. And the HUD visibility, I believe this is a simple uh, canvas group. If I remember that correctly. Where is it? View main menu. Are we messing around with this? Come on. No, it's not this one. Hmm. Is this one maybe? No. View main menu, canvas group. Let me look at the slider. All right. So content, slider. And here we have percentage. 
yeah so this is where the canvas group is one of them exactly so yeah it's that one all right so we're, we're messing with three canvas groups yeah i just saw so this will change check it out yeah. that's how we achieve this this uh, effect yeah you you should mess around with it and see exactly what you can create because there are a lot of interconnected systems and you can really learn a lot if you want a lot of techniques that will allow you to to create very unique and interesting uis all right thank you